Russia has transferred soldiers of the Strategic Missile Forces, operators of nuclear launchers, to the infantry for the war against Ukraine. Russian activists assisting the newly formed unit with material support released the video with the statement, We have resupplied the 1st Regiment of the Strategic Missile Forces, which performs the tasks of an ordinary separate rifle regiment in the Kursk direction. Russian activist and volunteer Vladimir Grubnik said, according to Militani media outlet. He noted that the 1st Composite Regiment of the Russian Army Forces is fighting as a regular infantry unit with small arms in the form of separate battalions. The unit has not received the necessary means of communication, so volunteers have provided them with civilian Chinese radio stations. In his opinion, the reason for their involvement is the lack of mobilization and an acute shortage of personnel in units on the front line, which forced them to scoop up contractors from non-infantry units, in particular the Russian Aerospace Forces and the Russian Armed Forces. Analyzing the publications of Russian activists, Militani can conclude that these units were formed in the late summer of this year and deployed to the combat zone. Judging by the growing number of requests, their active involvement began in August and was initially localized in the occupied territories in the Kharkiv region. However, in September, their activity was noticed in the Kursk region. Judging by the available information, the fighters of such units are not transferred to the ground forces, but fight as part of separate battalions of the Russian Air Force, which are assigned to regiments and brigades on the front line. A consolidated regiment can consist of one to 2,000 people. However, given the state of the war and its specifics, this number may be different. Most likely, these units do not involve specialists directly responsible for the use of nuclear weapons, but rather support and personnel of security companies. The SMF's security companies are equipped with light armored vehicles, such as the Akmat armored personnel carrier and small arms. They also include platoons of reconnaissance UAVs and sapper units. Militani previously reported that due to similar problems, Russian troops formed a mechanized battalion from the crew of the aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov. In Moscow, repressions against generals accused of corruption crimes continue. These actions affect not only the Ministry of Defense, but also other security agencies of the country. According to information published by the British Ministry of Defense on X, Russian media reported on new charges brought by the prosecutor's office against Timur Ivanov, a former deputy defense minister of the Russian Federation, who already faced charges in April 2024. The first case is related to the theft of 200 million rubles or approximately $2 million during the purchase of two ships for the ferry crossing across the Kirsch Strait, which were subsequently damaged during military operations. The second charge concerns the theft of 3 billion rubles or about $200 million from Intercommerce Bank during the purchase of foreign currency. The number of charges against former senior Russian military officials continues to mount, according to British intelligence, in the largest ever crackdown on officials below the executive branch. Russian media also reported that eight generals have been sacked from agencies including the Investigative Committee, the Ministry of Emergency Situations and the Federal Penitentiary Service. Independent sources have suggested that this is linked to the upcoming corruption charges. This could be a potential indicator that the crackdown on corruption is moving beyond its previous narrow focus on the defence sector. The UK Ministry of Defence said, As a reminder, at the end of May, Lieutenant General Vadim Shamarin, the head of the main communications directorate of the Russian Armed Forces, was arrested in Russia. He is the deputy chief of the Russian general staff, Valery Gerasimov. Shamarin was detained for taking a bribe. It was also reported earlier that Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov was detained on suspicion of taking a bribe. Later, it was reported that two more officials of the Ministry of Defense were detained in Russia. Vyacheslav Akhmedov, Director of the Patriot Army Park in Moscow region, and Major General Vladimir Shesterov, Deputy Head of the Ministry's main Department of Innovative Development. Both are suspected of embezzling budget funds.
Retired American generals Philip Breedlove and Ben Hodges have claimed that a tiny German force in Lithuania could defend the country against a large-scale Russian invasion, citing opaque war games conducted in Washington. Breedlove and Hodges recently took part in a computer simulation commissioned by Strong Together, a Lithuanian think tank, and run by the Washington-based Center for the Study of New Generation Warfare. Speaking to German tabloid Bild, they said that the simulation pitted 4,800 German soldiers and 44 Leopard tanks against a Russian force of nearly 30,000 attacking Lithuania through Latvia and from Belarus. There are currently 800 German soldiers stationed in Lithuania, a number set to swell to 4,800 by 2027. In the simulation, the Lithuanian military was used to hold back the Russian advance for four days before the 44 German tanks somehow outflanked and defeated the Russian contingent invading from Latvia in a brilliant maneuver. By the 10th day, Breedlove and Hodges claimed the Germans and Lithuanians would have lost 17 tanks, 145 armored vehicles and 3,650 troops. Russia would somehow have lost 411 tanks, 1,019 armored vehicles and 11,420 men in the same time frame the former American generals profess without explaining further. A separate assessment of the war game published by Lithuania's LRT News news site claimed that a Russian advance could be halted short of Vilnius in time for NATO reinforcements to arrive, but only if the country invested $10.8 billion in its military over the next four years, almost doubling its current defense spending. Such a favorable outcome would also depend on Lithuania being given attack helicopters and long-range missiles to strike targets inside Russia, Gitaras Azubalis, a retired colonel of the Lithuanian Armed Forces, told LRT. Azubalis told Bild that while he believes the 4,008 100 Germans could defeat the Russian division coming from Latvia, Lithuania would nevertheless be left devastated and partially occupied within two weeks of fighting. Hodges and Breedlove have a history of outlandish predictions. Hodges once claimed that Western weapons would enable Ukraine to seize Crimea by last year and declared in March 2022 that Russia was 10 days away from running out of missiles and artillery shells. Breedlove claimed earlier this year that Ukraine can seize Crimea if given enough Western weapons, an assessment not shared by the Pentagon.